Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm bringing you uh, another kind of review type video on some soccer cleats or football boots, whatever you want to call them. So I got the Puma Evo Power 1.3 and uh, this is the box they came in, which is actually probably the nicest box I've ever received, probably next to the messy 15.1 box. It just slides out. There's the boots. And this is what they look like. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is what they look like right here. And yeah, I'm just gonna hopefully do a quick review on these. I'll just tell you guys some things about them and then just call them good. So first off, I wanna tell you guys that this is obviously all black. This is the K-Leather version. It has K-Leather right there. Um, if this was synthetic, it would've been called the Adapalite synthetic, but since it's just kangaroo leather, uh, this is just how it is. Um, you still have your AccuFoam padding along the line on the inside of this boot. Um, your gradual stability frame here, so it's uh, more flexible here and very stiff through the midfoot and to the heel. Uh, you guys can see that. And then it's actually kind of transparent, so you can see like what's inside of there. But yeah, so there's that. Um, along the heel is actually this like grippy, I don't know, Can you, uh, you guys can see that now, yeah. It's like super grippy. Um, there's like no heel slippage at all when I did wear these. And um, this is probably one of my favorite sole plates too. Um, you got your uh, normal rounded studs with your blades right here, just for, um, it's, a, it's specifically like a shooting technique. So when you shoot, you like land on certain parts of your foot and they like put in the science to figure out the best um, stud pattern for a person who is shooting. So this is actually a power boot too. So if you guys like miss the um, Predator line or the T90, or anything like that, this might be the boot that you wanna go for. This is super comfortable. Um, even the synthetic version, I've heard it's very comfortable. This leather version, I love. Um, so you can get this in all black. I still think that, I think that's actually, with, compared to like Adidas and Nike, it, Puma isn't as popular, so you can probably still find this boot easily. But yeah, this boot, um, aesthetically, it's probably my favorite looking boot right now. Um, that probably next to the Messi 16.1 in, in the blue colorway, for me. Uh, I just really like simple colorways, nothing flashy, nothing neon, none of that Volt stuff that Adidas and Nike do a lot. Uh, actually, Puma does that a lot too. <laughs> but yeah, um, the kangaroo leather, is, it's not as thick as you guys might think. It looks a little like that just because of the inner AccuFoam padding in there for the for shooting. So it's kind of like the rubber padding on the T90 or the Predators, but it's on the inside instead of the outside. Uh, but it's pretty, thin, pretty thin. This is actually a super lightweight boot too, so you're not going to like think that. Uh, just because it's a power boot does not mean it's gonna be heavy. Um, pretty much just like at the end of the Predator line, how it pretty much just got lightweight. So yeah, this is it. Um, this is the Evo Power 1.3. Thought I'd just give you guys a quick review since I did get this and I don't see anybody reviewing this specific one on YouTube. So maybe I'll be the first one when I upload this. But yeah, uh, I'll show you guys the on feet in just a second. All right, so here they are on feet. Uh, I'd recommend going a half size up but first and foremost, you probably want to try these out in, this, in a store if you can. If you can, uh, that's what a lot of people do for Puma uh, models. models. If you wear a regular size in Nike, maybe you want to stick to that size. But if you wear something in Adidas um, and compare that to Puma, you might want to go half size up. But yeah, it's pretty tight right around the midfoot. Um, once you pull the laces tight, you feel extremely locked down. Toe box is fine. It has a really nice anatomical shape too, which you guys will see in like a free kick video with my little brother, brother or something like that. I said brother. <laughs> but yeah, thanks guys for watching. Um, hopefully you guys will hit that like button. Um, I'd, I'd appreciate the like a lot. So yeah guys, thanks a lot and uh, I'll catch you next time.